Hello, YouTube fam. How y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel that I ran and I review. Man, Ross is on fire, man. We need to give them their flowers. Dude, they save Christmas for collectors every damn where, man. It's like, what is going on? Damn. Movie monsters. Um, what is it? Frankenstein. Um, the creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, the Bride of Frankenstein. Just to name a few. Movie monsters. Um, Tony Terrors. Then you got the new G.I. Joes. Dude, people are showing pictures of gun hole, shipwreck, and copperhead. Who else is part of that line? The retro gun hole and the Cobra Eel? No, that's Torpedo that's part of that line. Fam, what is going on? You know, I seen pictures of so much shit hitting Ross that I didn't even know. The new Power Rangers I heard are hitting Ross. The ones with the Asian writing down the side. Man, I'm sitting here looking like, damn, Ross is killing it. You know what? You can't get mad at them, man. You can't get mad at people shopping their ass off. And right now, shit is actually kind of going down some because Ross basically, you know... It's the 19th. Christmas is almost here, man. It's a few days to Christmas. People shopping their ass off. And this is now or never, man. If you're going to jump in, jump in. You know, I want to also say some other stuff, man. You know, in the group they were talking about, not the group that we all a part of, but a different group. They asked, do anybody ever feel like quitting the hobby? Dude, I feel like that a lot. Sometimes when I get overwhelmed, sometimes when I'm out and I'm trying to find stuff, you know, I get upset. If I can't find anything, man, it makes you mad. Even if you check eBay sometimes and those prices may be stagnant, you feel in some kind of way. Why? Because you figure, you know, you should be finding some of the stuff everybody else is finding. It's not hate. It's just you feel some kind of way about it. And when this keep happening, you feel some way. And this is why a lot of collectors now are going apeshit crazy because you haven't seen a time like this. Whereas you can look on Target.com, Walmart.com, shit, Big Bad Toy Store, uh, Entertainment Earth. You just find a shit everywhere. You know, and right now you need some of that. You need a win. You need a Ross. You need a Ollie's. You need some of these places to keep you involved into this hobby. Yeah, I feel like quitting. Yeah, I feel like... Just saying, look, I'm going to just stop for a while. I did that with video games. I did that with gym shoes. I did that with dress clothes and dress shoes and ties and every damn thing else. You know, blazers and everything. Man, I used to wear dress clothes every damn day. But after a while, you get tired after a while. You get tired of a lot of shit. You get tired of reading your books. You get tired of some of everything. So you need to take a break every now and then. Sometimes it's okay to take a break for a week. Sometimes that week recharges you. People say, well, a week ain't really nothing. If you ain't found nothing, then, you know, you ain't. if you ain't got the money. No, a week means a week. Sometimes you don't leave out the house. You just go to work and come home. When I say you don't leave out the house, what that's implying is you're just going to work and coming home. You're not stopping off at stores and anything like that. You just like, look, man, I'm going to get a break for a minute. Sometimes you need to recharge your batteries. Sometimes the hobby can be very destructive. Some of the people in the hobby can be very damn toxic. And some of them can be cancerous. And this is why I cut a lot of them out. You know, I, I block them from the channel. I block them from the group. Because sometimes those people need to be let go sometimes, man. In order for you to grow, in order for you to be a better person, you need to get rid of all that toxic energy that's flowed around in your life. You wonder why the minute toxic people get out your damn life, you feel better? Anytime you get a toxic ass hobby out of your life, you feel a lot better. You know, sometimes the hobby that you once enjoyed no longer brings you joy. So you need to do some other shit. This is why I tell you, start slow. Don't go jumping in. You know, I hear so many people talking about they want to be resellers. Slow that shit down, fam. Do you, have you sold anything? If you ain't sold nothing yet, don't go doing something you don't know shit about. You may not like it. This is why I say you got to make sure you dive into this just a little bit. Stick your toe in and see, do you like it? As far as collecting, I tell everybody, start out with Final Faction and stuff like that. Hot Wheel cards or something. Don't start out big because you'd be upset. 
you know, when you got a lot of shit, you know, you feel some kind of way. You like, man, I'm cluttered. There's shit everywhere. I'm feeling some kind of way. I can't move. You know, I'm bumping into shit. That's because you didn't think shit through. You know, a lot of us, we pick up stuff that really don't mean nothing to us, man. And, you know, we got a hobby built on bullshit. This is why so many people be up in the hobby. You know, they just tired. The price is crazy as hell. But now with Ross and Ollie's and shit, you know, these sales going on during this Christmas time. This is like the best Christmas part of being a collector. I'm serious, man, because last Christmas or the Christmas before didn't look like this. This shit looks ridiculously crazy. Man, Ross came in in the clutch. Ollie's came in in the beginning. Target and Walmart, you know, throwing themselves out there, man, made it even better. Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store hitting you with more sales. Man, it's like all of a sudden you doubling up on every damn thing. And you feeling some kind of way. You like, man, man, I can see this hobby. But without those sales, it's hard to be a collector. A lot of us don't understand. Once you take away sales and deals and shit like that, it becomes hard. You paying $24.99 per toy, $25. Come on. Or if you buy a NECA toy, $30 per toy. Come on. Who trying to do that? And shit, that's just on the cheap end with NECA sometimes, man. Some of that shit can go up really high. You know, I want to get into that dinosaurs land. Not the mama, not the mama, not the mama. I want to get off into those. But, again, I have nowhere to put it. Two. I got to wait. I got to wait till that shit look like, you know, it's going to last. I don't want to see two or three toys. You know, the gargoyles look good from NECA. But again, too pricey. You know, uh, the Predators, they look fantastic. You know, it's a lot of stuff that I want to get off into, man. But I want to wait a second. I started to notice if we wait a little while, we'll find a lot of shit. Anytime that you're finding G.I. Joe Waves, DC Multiverse stuff, people are finding um, the Black Adam movie stuff. They're finding some Flash the movie stuff. Uh, and I'm like, damn, at Ross. Now, when you buy liquidation from places like Target and Walmart, you know, when I say their warehouses and stuff like that, it's different. It's not like everybody think it is like you got a whole plethora of just bullshit going on. No, what you do when you buy liquidation pallets, everything is different. And, you know, corporations set the prices on shit. You know, they don't set the prices, you know, store by store. But sometimes people mix up what's what when it comes to prices. I just want to make sure I throw that out there, fam. So I want you all to think about this. It's OK to stop every now and then collecting. But right now, a lot of people are not giving up because they're like, man, I see a lot of good deals out there, stuff that I wanted to buy, but I couldn't afford them when they were those prices. Dude, I want to get shipwrecked, but I want to get them for $5.99 from Ross. I want um, a couple of more Sergeant Stalkers, you know, but I don't want to pay full price for them. See, this is where places like Ross come in handy, especially with the Crimson Guard they were at actual Ross, too. The shit was crazy. They had the battle android troopers, man. The shit is nuts. But like I said, in certain locations, they get certain things, man, because certain markets are different than others. And you think living in a big city, you would have a ton of this damn stuff, man. But you know what? No. Shit is just what it is, fam. You know, we working and we trying to get things going, man. But like I said, at the end of the day, shit, we don't get stuff to work itself out. We're going to deal with this, man. We're going to do what we need to do, and we're going to keep pushing. This hobby is an amazing situation, man, right now. Like I told you, these are showing up at Ross for $7.99, and at TJ Maxx for actually $12.99. Deal. All through Ross, $5.99 all day long. Um, it's just... You know, Funko Pops, they're going for $4.99. And people feeling it. They're like, damn, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I wanted to see. This is the future right here. You know, this is what I do when I collect. I want to see shit that I could say collecting is about, man. And right now, people are saying, hey, look, this is what we're doing right now. And this is how we're going to keep doing it, man. 
if I'm going to stay in this hobby, I need to keep finding deals. And this is what a lot of people are doing. They're searching for those deals now. You know, one commenter said, if you look hard enough, you can find deals. But you got to look. You know, a lot of people just want shit to jump and fall into their lap. This is why I say, if you want to join a group, come on in and join the group. Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews over there on Facebook. You know, people throw where they get stuff out at, you know, and what's out there right now. And that's a good deal. You don't have to do too much of research, you know, and people say, hey, maybe I should do like, uh, I forgot what those are. Uh, I had it just on my mind, but. Man, I'm not about to do too much extra, man. It's a lot doing this right now. So I just want to say, man, do I feel like quitting sometimes? Yeah. Do I feel like quitting now? No. Shit, there's so much shit to be got right now. But I'm going to tell you something. Make sure you keep in mind, shit does accumulate. But with that being said, thank you for watching. Peace out.